Hello guys, it's me, Nikki, hello. So today's video is a video that I've been dreading since forever. If you know me, if you follow my channel, you know that the color green makes me mean. You know that the color green is my least favorite color when it comes to makeup and pretty much in life. I don't know what green has ever done to me to make me feel this way, but it just makes me feel this way. So I've been hyping up this challenge for a couple of months now, but every time I got around to doing it, I quit, walked away ran away from my studio and never looked back. The color green gives me anxiety, the color green makes me nervous, but most of all, very unhappy. <laughs> In today's video, I'm gonna grab the color green by its balls and make it work somehow. So, since I actually never buy green makeup, let me actually find some green makeup. Okay, I'll be right back. No, no. No, 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 no. This is green, sorta. Oh, 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 wait, hold on, what about this one? Oh, oh, it's a blush. I think I found something. Look. <gasps> I have a palette full of green. Green glitter, green lipstick. Okay. All right, so I have my green products, I think, and now it's just time to get ready with me and face this green makeup challenge. It's it's not really a challenge, it's just a makeup tutorial of me just using green. If you hate the color green like I do, let's enjoy today's battle. <laughs> All right, so the first thing we're doing is focusing on skin because this will be the part that I'll probably enjoy most because it doesn't involve anything green yet. Now I know some of you will go, use the green color corrector. No, there's already enough green for today. So the first product I'm using, or actually is applied to my face already, this is a brand new moisturizer that I've been loving. It is by the brand QMS, QMS, and this is the Moisturizing Balance Moisturizer. This stuff is so good, you only need the tiniest bit, and it gives you that beautiful radiant glow. So that is on my skin right now. The nails. For primer, I'm using the Tatcha Silk Canvas. I feel like I haven't been talking about this on my channel, but this is currently the best primer of 2018 because it just, it blurs everything out. It makes everything look so smooth. I love this stuff. For foundation today, I'm gonna be using the brand new NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the color Mont Blanc. And the Power Play Foundation by Cover Effects, I like to add this in to add more coverage, and this is in N10. I wanna know who of you watch the Eurovision and are big fans of it. Actually, earlier today on my Instagram, I did an Instagram live with Eleni from Cyprus, who is, if you've been following me on social media, you know that she is my absolute favorite this year. That song, that performance is killer. So I'm definitely rooting for Cyprus. And I saved the Instagram live for 24 hours. So if you haven't seen it, head over to at Nikki Tutorials to watch the Instagram live featuring Cyprus girl, Eleni. And I wanna know who you are rooting for. Um, other favorites of mine are Bulgaria. I like Lithuania. Who else do I like? Oh, I also liked Finland's song, but Cyprus by far my favorite, like so good, fuego. For concealer, of course I'm going in with the NARS, so it's been a long time since I did a natural tutorial. For concealer, I'm going in with NARS Soft Matte Complete Conceal. and setting the under eyes using the Fit Me Loose Powder by Maybelline. The secret to any good eyeshadow look is the P. Louise base, so I'm priming with this for the eyes. And on a MAC 252, I'm just patting this onto the lid. To activate this product, you wanna pat it. So go ahead and pat it on. Now I'm gonna go into this apple green shadow color by Inglot, and this is going into my crease. Picking it up on a MAC 221 brush and creating a rounded shape. And to diffuse the edges, I'm just using soft circular motions right at the edge 
of that shadow. I'm also going for a very blown out smoky eye look kind of day. So the further you take this out, the more smoky it's gonna look. If you're not too comfortable with that, just keep it smaller and don't smoke it out as much. Now picking up this color by Melkior Cosmetics. This is in the color Citronelle. And I'm blending this right above the green we just applied. And doing so on a Morphe M514 brush. This is really gonna give you that smoked out, blown out look. Now taking the darkest green shade from this Ingla palette and darkening the outer corner. And doing so on a separate MAC 221 brush. And I make sure I pat on the color as opposed to buffing the color in. So we're patting on because we want that pigmentation. Now to buff out this edge, all you have to do is use soft circular motions. Dipping back into the P. Louise base with a MAC 252 and cutting the lid. Okay, taking that apple green color, pushing it back over on top of the P. Louise base. And also going back with the darkest green. For the center of the lid, I'm taking this pigment right here by P. Louise. It's a green pigment. This on the lid is Stunning. Picking it up on an Anastasia Beverly Hills number 18 brush and packing it on. And then taking this color right here, which is a white highlighter shade, but it has a green duochrome. And this is going on the inner third. going in with MAC Minted Eichel as a base for the shadows on the lower lash line. And I'm just smudging this on and leaving a tiny little slither of skin left to highlight later on. Going back in with that Ingla Dark Green Shadow and taking the Crown Pro C510 brush to apply it. And since we're going for that super smoky look, notice how I rounded it out and went very low with it here. So we also have to apply the blending shade around that too. On a Crown Brushes C527 brush, I'm just dragging that green color all the way into the inner corner. And then finally opening up that inner corner using the tiniest line of white liquid liner. Finally for lashes, some Lily Lashes in Lush. And on the center, one tiny little lash to add some definition. Oh, oh my God. For how green this is, I thought I would hate this, but this is starting to grow on me. It might be that I went for a super blown out smoky eye look, so it, it definitely gives me more of like a, an editorial kind of drag look, but I am liking this so far. What is happening to me? All right, so I definitely want to bronze my skin because of all the greens. It's kind of making me look a little washed out. So I'm going in with this MAC um, Next to Nothing Powder in Medium Dark. Casually trying to make my seven head a four head, even though I will probably only get close to a six head. Time for a little hint of blush just a tiny bit. Pairing a coral cheek with a green eye is so good to me right now. And then highlighter at last. I'm going in with that greeny shade that I used for the inner corners too because I feel like it will really tie everything in with each other. So let's do that. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, oh okay. You know, this is sort of turning into a glam Hulk look and I'm here for it. Now, when it comes to lips, there's options, believe it or not. We have Fenty Beauty Midnight Wasabi, which is this, which might make it a little too green. I mean, I'm finally liking some green on my face. I don't wanna kill the experience. Then I have Colored Rain Ivy. I like this a lot. And finally, Kylie Cosmetics Trick, which is like a, a, a dark green bluish color. I should probably go for the Ivy one because it excited me when I said it. Plus my dog's name is Ivy, so this wins. 
That's a lot. Oh my God, I'm pushing my boundaries. <laughs> All right, some setting spray and we're done. You know what? I don't think I did all that bad. And I might go as crazy as saying I'm really digging this look. Would I wear this outside with this lip? Absolutely not. Will this lip be perfect for Instagram? Probably, hopefully, give it a like. <laughs> the overall look, it's a mean Hulk. <laughs> Suddenly this became the Avengers Infinity War Hulk glam look. So thank you so much for watching. As always, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love you so much. Yeah, I will see you on the next one, which will be hopefully a fun video too. <laughs> Bye guys.